Hey, my friends, how are you doing? Heather here. And today with my 100 days of testimony, I felt very drawn to speak about the divinity of womanhood. And for me, obviously, being a woman, this has been quite a journey. And I feel like there are a lot of misconceived notions, a lot of untruths about women um, in our culture and in our lives. And I've got a toddler out here that wants to go back inside. So I'm going to go accommodate her while I talk. Um, You know, about what women's roles are and, you know, women are more powerful than men. Women are less powerful than men. That whole like dynamic between men and women. And that's something that I deal with a lot, obviously, in coaching um, couples and relationships. And then just like the pressures on women of what we're expected to look like and act like and be like. And even in my own church culture, there are um, expectations about women and what we're supposed to do and what we're kind of not supposed to do that I don't believe are actually truth of the gospel and the way that the Lord sees women and our Heavenly Father sees women. I know that Heavenly Father loves and cherishes and honors women and that we are powerful and divine (laughs) and important part of his plan. And we are meant to be equals with men. We're meant to be equal partners, not ahead of them and not behind them in any wit, but that we're truly equal partners. Hey, Kimberly, good to see you. And so going through a lot of my own limiting beliefs that I've created about myself as a woman, um, my, my roles, the expectations on me, um, some of the breaking through some of those cultural barriers, both in our culture here in the United States, as well as culture from my, my own church culture. Um, so there's like the culture of the church and then there's the actual gospel. And I believe that sometimes the culture of any religion can steer us wrong because we're mortal and we're, we're just, you know, men and women and we're all human and we make mistakes. And so just as an example, um, some of the culture of my, my, my church is that women stay home primarily and, um, we don't really shouldn't, really shouldn't pursue anything outside of motherhood. Um, and that it's kind of looked down on in the culture. I'm not saying the religion because it's not true. The culture, it would say that um, women need to focus primarily on being mothers because that is our most divine role. And I agree that it is our most divine role, but I don't believe that we should be condemned or looked down upon if we have pursuits to do other things. Um, and so for me, overcoming that kind of limiting belief that I just had to be home and only focusing on my kids and that I shouldn't pursue any of my own hobbies or interests and uh, build a business and earn income and create positive mo- movement in the world. Uh, and so I really had to kind of break free of that. And some of it was family culture, too, and, and my family and Ben's family. Um, but, you know, there's often, often a lot of people that are really accepting of that as well. So. It's just been an interesting journey recognizing um, the truth about womanhood and that we are divine and that we are um, very much central to our Heavenly Father's plan just as men and we're not one whit behind them or ahead of them. I also found some challenges with um, thinking that women are better than men and there are a lot of cultural things going on right now that are saying that women are more powerful than men and I, I disagree with that as well. (laughs) I truly believe that we're equal, but we have um, differing but complementary roles, right? Just kind of like you can't pick up a coin without picking up both sides. And so men and women both bring what's needed to bring about creation and bring about our Heavenly Father's plan. And as I've learned to come to see myself the way that our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Mother do um, and recognizing the that those things are, are cherished by our heavenly father and our heavenly mother. And the more that I seek to understand how they view me and, and, and my role as a woman, then I find so much more joy and empowerment and peace in my life. So I kind of feel like it's like taking the shackles off my eyes and taking the shackles off my heart and taking the shackles off my mind and like throwing away all the old ideas that just don't serve us, that just don't empower us, that just keep us stuck or bring ourselves down or feel like we have to be perfect or any of those things and and just kind of removing all of the untruths and truly striving to find out the truth of how our Heavenly Father actually sees us as women. 
and that he cherishes women and that he honors women and that we have an incredible role to play here um, with men have an incredible role also uh, as we bring about his plan. And I really love this um, was given in general conference. It says, we need women who know how to make important things happen by their faith and who are courageous defenders of morality and families in a sin sick world. We need women who are devoted to shepherding God's children along the covenant path toward exaltation. Women who know how to receive personal revelation, who understand the power and peace of the temple endowment, who know how to call upon the powers of heaven to protect and strengthen their children and families. Women who teach fear fearlessly. We need women who have a bedrock understanding of the doctrine of Christ and who will use that understanding to help raise a sin-resistant generation. We need women who can detect deception in all its forms. We need women who know how to access the power that God makes available to covenant keepers and to express their beliefs with confidence and charity. We need women who have the courage and vision of Mother Eve. Take your rightful and needful place. To me, that is so inspiring, and I have it on my fridge, and my kids read it, and sometimes they laugh about it because they think it's kind of funny. I don't know why they think it's funny, but, like, we need women. I don't know. <laughs> like, we need women. It's like this, like, <laughs> I don't know, call to action or something. But I believe that there is absolute truth in this, and to have a bedrock understanding doctrine of Christ and use that to help raise the next generation, help them to draw closer to their Savior. This Our Savior is the one that heals all wounds, and removes all untruths from us so that we can find peace, empowerment, and happiness in this life. And that we can rise up and help others to come closer to Christ as well. And he heals all of it. And no matter what gender, race, religion, ethnicity, as we come to him, we find that unity in Christ. We can become one through him. And so I'm grateful to understand that womanhood is divine and to be on a journey. I'm, you know, it's never, never feel like I'm there, but recognizing more and more what the truth of being a woman really is and how to be a divine woman and step more into that role. And I'm striving to become more like our savior, Jesus Christ. I want to be an extension of his love, of his grace, of his charity, of his goodness. And I want to help reflect that in my life so that others can feel his love as well and find the peace and joy that comes by turning to our savior. And um, I'm grateful for him. I'm grateful that we do have, I believe, a heavenly mother as well, and that she is sacred and cherished by our heavenly father. It, it doesn't make sense in my mind that we would have an earthly father and mother, but only a heavenly father, right? And that, um, that he honors her and cherishes her so much and her incredible role as our heavenly mother. And I'm grateful to feel the spirit as I learn more about these things and have the desire to, to become more of a divine woman and step into that divinity and recognize the truth of that. So that is my testimony is that womanhood is divine and that our savior loves us and I'm grateful for him. And I hope that we can all feel his love today and draw a little bit closer to him. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.